Hey, it's Wabbit. I hope you're doing well. So I want to have a chat with you about something that I don't hear discussed a lot. And I think it's important when you start getting into the gear game of this uh, music space. And that's having a cover. Uh, there's different types out there. Uh, it may vary based on where you live. I live here in the state of Nevada, and it's almost mandatory. Uh, when we get uh, windy days, there's usually dust involved. Uh, if it's not an issue for you based on your climate and location, uh, <laughs> let me know where you live because uh, you're very fortunate. Now, the different types, uh, they vary. Uh, I think there are kind of two main types. Uh, what you see on the left, the plastic cover. And I'm just going to call fabric on the right. Uh, in my particular case, I have nylon. Um, I've seen drawstring ones. They're felt. <laughs> I, I even see people say, I'm just going to throw a sheet over it. I'm not going to go that far. I, I get it. Uh, probably nobody sees that. But if it works and it's cheap, then hey, do you. Um, I would like to ask, though, if you know of other options or other vendors besides uh, the ones that are kind of the more common ones. Uh, I would love to know in the comments because I'm always on the hunt for something that um, I don't know if we'll ever find the perfect cover. So I want to talk about I really want to focus on these two things that I that you see in front of you. Again, the plastic one and the fabric one. The fabric comes from Digital Deck Savers, and I've had some mixed experiences with them, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but let's focus on the plastic one. Now, this TR-8S I bought used, and I got lucky in that the cover came with it, the plastic deck saver. So pros and cons of, and I'll just call them deck savers. The pros is I think they look great. I think that it provides a nice snug fit. I cannot personally speak to if this is completely 100% dust proof. And I'll leave that up to you. Um, I've tried to do some research on that, and it seems like they're just opinions that are varied. Um, but if you feel that one provides better protection and cover, then by all means do that. And, and again, share that with me in the comments so I can learn as well too. Uh, the other thing that I like is you get access to all of your ports in the back. Uh, now the question is, you know, is that going to be an issue with dust in there? I don't know. Um, but if you do leave things connected, uh, then this plastic cover uh, will not get in the way. Uh, so from an aesthetic standpoint and functionality standpoint, I think that wins. Uh, now, obviously, if no one's in your studio or seeing these things, then does it really matter? So I, I get it. Um, just depends on a personal preference. The downside, two big things stick out to me. The cost. These things are not cheap. I, I can't even find these things used. I, I Trust me, I look and I look. <laughs> and they're just, and, and maybe because people are, I, I get it. You know, <laughs> why would you get rid of them? Um, I believe on average these things are running, and again, depends on your equipment. But I'm going to say on average about 90 bucks for these things. Now, that doesn't include shipping and tax. Uh, I, I know I think the Micro Freak is like 50 or 60 bucks, um, but again, on average, what I'm saying. So these things are pricey, and if you just have one or two pieces of gear, I would recommend going with the Deck Saver. The problem, though, is when you start acquiring multiple pieces of gear, that can add up. Um, and then the other uh, con for me is where do you store these when you take them off? That's one thing I don't hear talked about. I think someone mentioned that a while ago. If you've got a bunch of gear and you, and you have all deck savers, where do these go? You can't fold them up. You don't want to put them on a desk if you don't have a desk space, so they go on the floor. I, I don't know. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you've got a ton of deck savers, how do you store them when you're not using them? Are they getting in the way, or, or is it not an issue? Now, the pros of the fabric, I, I think for me, the one thing that stands out is it's cheap. Uh, I, again, going from going through digital deck savers on average, about 27 bucks for the cover. Now, that does not include any taxes or shipping, uh, so there is a big difference in terms of price. Now, the negative with this is you don't have access then to, or at least easy access to, the port. So as you see, these covers completely cover everything. Now again, that might be another pro in terms of keeping dust out. Uh, I don't know. But as I will show you in some B-roll footage, that one of the cons is these things are kind of a hit or miss. 
So <laughs> what you're looking at right here is, well, you can't see it, but underneath it is the MC707. And this is the TR-8S case. It's a snug fit. The, the 707 case that I have, it's too big for it. And there's, there's a bunch of gaps. And again, I don't know if dust is going to get in through those. But from an aesthetic standpoint, it just look, didn't look the greatest. Here we've got the Arterior Micro Freak. And I think they did a great job on this particular uh, cover. It, it is a little bit bigger, but it just looks good. This one here, I'm, it's a little bit frustrating. It's the Drum Brute Impact. And it just is a bit bulky and doesn't quite snugly fit it. So that, again, it's to me, that's a little frustrating point that I have. Now, to their credit, the customer service is great. I've been interacting with them via email, sharing my findings. And I'm not going to knock them on this because they are getting their specs from the website. I don't think they have all the gear there in person to measure it. Um, the Ableton Push, this is also by Digital Deck Savers. Even though if I were to turn it over, I could be nitpicky and show you some spots where it's a little bigger, but for the most part, it fits perfectly. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's a micro uh, fiber cloth because I forgot to order one. And that's where I'm kind of at right now in terms of what do I do next because I have a couple other pieces of gear. I got the Poly Amp Play that I need to find a cover for. Um, and then a few other things that I want to, to get some covers. I just can't personally justify the price of the plastic covers. Um, it's just too much because of the, the number of pieces of kit that I have. Um, I really like how they look. I really like that you can see things. Um, it's just the cost. The storage part, eh, it's a, not a big deal, but that is something that um, to kind of keep in mind. I did a video earlier where I actually... Uh, created my own covers by sewing them. Now, those didn't last because I didn't have the right fabric. Um, I'm thinking about going back and doing that uh, to try uh, for a couple items. Uh, the other thing I need to mention to you is, um, I, I'll put this on the con side, but it's not a, a, a big deal because I think it'll eventually go away. If you order these nylon covers, at least from Digital Deck Savers, it's something that they do uh, before they package it, and there's a bit of an odor, uh, nothing foul, but <laughs> I'll be honest with you, when I first got it, I thought, is this really good for my lungs? Uh, that does dissipate over time, but it takes time. Uh, but that first day, you're like, whoa, I even put them outside to try and air out. Um, so there's that factor, too. They do have cotton. Um, I've thought about ordering cotton going from them, but again, because of my mixed... Um, experience with these cases where I get one that just looks, looks great and another one like eh, I, I just don't think I can pull the trigger uh, to do that so uh, this time I'm thinking about getting an actual portable handheld sewing device and putting uh, more stitches and making it look better and, and getting better fabric um, I, I really want to get more of these plastic covers and I keep looking for something used and um, I, I just can't find it. Now, the Rodecaster Pro, uh, before I got into any of this uh, gear stuff, um, that was an easy buy for me because that was the only real piece of kit that I had at the time. So that was not a problem. It, it's, it's once this stuff started blooming in terms of gas, <laughs> then it became uh, an issue. Down below there, I do have an Arturia Keystep 37 that I do have a digital, uh, excuse me, a, a deck cover, a plastic one as well for that one. So this is, again, this is something if you're getting into the space, I don't hear a lot of people talk about. Um, obviously, if you're in an area, like I said, where dust is an issue, then you need to get something to protect um, your devices. So it's just a, a, another cost you're going to have to factor. If budget is not an option for you, or excuse me, if budget is not an issue for you, then I highly recommend going the route of the plastic covers. I just think they look good. Um, they have a, a nice fit. It's custom to it, and you get access to your ports um, in the back, and I think that is what most of us, you know, doing. Now, right now, I'm in the process of redesigning the studio here. That's why things aren't hooked up yet. Um, I think that is a big pro, so, um, but if budget is an issue for you, then either you get these things, you know, once in a while, uh, or you go the fabric route. I personally, I, I, I wish I would have got the cotton, I don't know if that's going to be a, a different fit. Uh, I, I should have tried that, but uh, I'm going to give it a shot. And then if I do, um, I'll probably do another video in terms of how those uh, fit out. So.
bottom line, it's your choice. Uh, you have to kind of do your research. Uh, I don't know if any of this helped you out, but I, I really think it's important that, um, again, if you're in, the, if you're getting into this, um, and and you, you definitely need to look at getting some type of a cover. So in the comments, I would love to hear if there's other options out there. Uh, felt I looked into, but I only see them on Etsy. I could not find any for the Poly in Play. Um, I couldn't find anything for the Jam. Um, so if you've got some options beyond the, the two primary that I mentioned here, um, no, sheets are not an option. Towels, no. None, none, if, if you're going to be sarcastic, uh, it's not helpful. I, I, I'll laugh, but uh, I'm, I'm really looking for some other options. And I think for me, I know where I need to go, but I thought I'd just kind of share this with you because, like I said before, I don't hear too many people talking about it. All right, that's all I got. Uh, hope some of this helped you out. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next video. Again, please be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and have as much fun as possible. Take care.